Hi everyone, this is Tracy with Brutifly. I am so excited to have my July collaborator with us today, Liesl B. Designs. Liesl, thank you for joining me today to share what you're going to offer uh, the newsletter subscriber winner. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here with you. Yeah, I'm so excited to talk a little bit about your company and everything that you do as an interior designer. So do you want to share a little bit about um, what you do and how uh, you got started? Yeah, a little bit of everything. So um, I used to work in the corporate world back in the day. Um, and I started going to school for interior design right out of high school and school just wasn't for me. So I got the job in the corporate world, was there 11 or 12 years. Um, I worked there. They came to me and said, we want to promote you, but you need to have a degree. So I decided to go back to school for interior design rather than something business related. So I, I worked full time, went to school part time and got my degree. And then mm -hmm. I worked in um, in the furniture industry. I worked for Lazy Boy for a couple of years as a store designer. And then I moved on to working for a small design firm in Canton. And then about... A year and a half ago, October 2021, I opened Weasel Bee Design and went out on my own. Yeah, so excited for you. You have a great, a great company that does really personalized service. Mm -hmm. And there's different ways that people can work with you. Do you want to explain how you can do that remotely and in person? Yeah, we do a little bit of everything. Um, we'll do color consultations. We do you know, styling, holiday decor to full on big remodels. So we have kitchen remodel getting ready to start, one that's finishing, um, just finished a bath remodel. Now we're starting another bath remodel this Wednesday. Um, and I have clients all over. I work with some that, you know, we text and we um, meet virtually like this. And we have some kind of apps and tricks of the trade that we can use to make it. Um, a real smooth experience on both ends, um, whether you're here in the Canton, Ohio area or in Menlo Park, California. So, yeah. 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 And you have uh, a teammate behind you. So, just want to do. Oh, hi, Gabby. Gabby, do you want to wave and say hi? Oh, hi, Gabby. Hi. Gabby um, is a student at Kent and she is playing with me this summer. That's exciting. Great hands-on experience for someone and getting to uh, learn all about interior design. Is that your major, Gabby? Is that what you're majoring in in school? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. So thank you both for, you know, popping on and joining me. And I got to meet Abby in person, or Gabby, I'm sorry, and Gabby in person. So I appreciate that I got to, to meet her as well. And you got a little sneak peek of what you're uh, offering in the I newsletter. Do. So we've got this awesome, humongous pillow. I love the size of this pillow. Super soft, throw blanket, and then just a cute little tray and some accessories. So the blues seem to be really popular right now. A lot of my projects are in that blue kind of area right now. It seems to be what's hot. Um, so we put something in those colors. So it's a little bit of a simple one. That's awesome. So do you have a favorite style? And Gabby, I want to know that from you too. Do you do you have a favorite style whenever you're like working with someone that you're like, oh, I get to do, you know, mod or something? Um, I learned a lot of like Bohemian style mixed with like maybe some like coastal vibes. I love that. I lot. I, my style is very eclectic, I would say. And I think that's why I like doing interior design so much is that my clients have all sorts of different tastes. So I've gotten to do things that are like ultra, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Very, um, same lines and, um, like modern. And then I have more traditional things. The kitchen that we're getting ready to start, the home was built in the 1930s. So we're mixing a little bit of history in with modern design. So I love doing a little bit of everything. That's, that's what's great about this job. It keeps it interesting. Yeah, that that's mm -hmm. awesome. I love that too. Do you feel like you have any signature looks that you um feel like this is me? This is what I. I I'm sure that if I 
stood out and kind of looked at everything I would see. I mean, I think I do see a little bit of something similar in each thing. I think like light and airy and gotcha. um, bright. Um, comfort is a big thing to me. You're in, you're going to be in your home. You want to be comfortable. In so, mm -hmm. um, you know, a little bit of form over function, but probably see a little little things here and there that were probably part of my signature style. I do use a lot of books to and decor and to stack things and to add color that way and um lots of fur blankets and pillows and just things that just add that warmth and comfort to the space. That's awesome. Yeah, that those are great um little snippets that you can pull out of things. Gabby, what has been some of the um key things that you feel like you've learned from Liesel? Do you have anything that comes to mind? Just like how to get to know a client, like that was like one fear, like, oh no, am I going to be able to adjust like their style, looking for um like products or um like wall coverings. Like right now I'm doing like a bedroom with um a wall accent that's kind of like modern and kind of like looks like glam, which is like not something I would dive into personally, but like it was cool to see like how I can adjust things like that and then the whole that that shiny um like the core boards. Uh, previous design. Yeah. It's one wow. of our little kits that we have. It's called Lacora, and it's kind of like an internal Pinterest that is just between us and our client. Yeah. We can share ideas through that, and then the client can vote and say yes or no. And in some cases, we can even set it up so the client can shop for us. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. And I know how you, as a team, you're putting um, something out almost every day with uh, on social media and, and places that people can follow you. Can you yes. share the location? As of right now, that's what we're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest as Liesl B Designs. Awesome. L E I S Y L. All right. Yeah, that that's great. I love that you have the ability to work with somebody remotely because um, the newsletter that I, you know, place out in the world, it gets subscribed by people all over the country. And that's wonderful. I love that. So I love that you're going to be able to, you know, if someone wants to work with you, you have that ability to outreach and, and share. Yeah, sure. I love that interior Pinterest um, tool, that yeah. or type of tool. That's really nice. Yeah, it's very helpful. And it's, it's nice because we have it and the client has it to refer back to all the time. So even if, you know, we work on some projects where maybe you only hire us for about 10 hours of work or maybe even just for a consultation and you want to get, you want that room, but you don't necessarily have it in your budget to have us do it all for you. You can put together a quick horror board for you and then you can take it and run with it. And everything oh, that's wow. That's wonderful. So you really work in a huge range of budgets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's how I grew up. You know, you you might not necessarily be able to afford a designer, but you need that help. I like to be able to offer different options so that everybody can have that style and that look. Yeah, that's wonderful to, to have that opportunity to work with someone on a level that you could afford. So that, that's great. Yeah, it keeps it interesting for us, too. Yeah, that's wonderful. This is great. I love having you as a collaborator. It's so unique and it's still so creative and it's wonderful to have, you know, a, a person's face and, and hear everything that you do and, and know that um, ahead of time, because I think it's really important to, you know, work with someone that you kind of like feel a good vibe with, Yes. especially sure. when it comes, you know, you know, yeah. with your home, so that's yeah. great. Everything so. with your home is so personal. So to me, it's very important to focus on those relationships. And we've had situations where we go out in a consultation and we just don't buy, or it just, you know, it's not mm -hmm. often, but every once in a while it does happen. And, you know, those are the times where I can kind of say, you know what, I don't think we're a good fit, but I know someone who might. So, it's, it's, you know, it's your home. You want to feel comfortable there. Right. And if I'm not the person that can give that to you, that's okay. We can find someone who can. So. Yeah. And being in the industry for so long, I'm sure you've got a great network oh, of, yeah. of other designers plus contractors and, and things like that. So that's yep. cool. Yeah. 
We're always looking for more. So if there's anybody out there that is anywhere related to design or construction, give us a call and maybe we can work together. Yeah. So, and even real estate, I think we even spoke yeah. about how you'll help stage if a home mm -hmm. is being ready, you know, to be put on the market. Yeah. That's yeah, a great consultation. Have, you know, maybe somebody has a home that, you know, the kitchen is what's holding it back from selling. Mm -hmm. We can come in and get some measurements and put together a quick 3D plan with some ideas that you can print out and have on hand to sell with the homes. So people can see that, oh, well, this kitchen looks terrible now, but look at what it could be, you know? And Oh, that's a wonderful idea. That way, you get almost like a lookbook of potential. If somebody yeah. can't visualize it, it's right there. That's a yep. wonderful service for a, a real estate agent to know. Even if the family doesn't have it in their budget to fully renovate or even right. do something, this gives that that potential yeah. you know, homeowner an idea. Yeah, sometimes all you need is that vision or that picture and that can kind of just do it for you. Yeah, that's great. I'll tell you what, when we were looking for our house, we, I think we visited 36 homes. My husband got so tired of me using the word, this has potential. <laughs> he was like, I, <laughs> so I get it. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's a great, that's great. Beautiful. Yep. My husband would say, now which wall are you going to want to throw down? Right. Uh, right. That was my big thing. You take this wall out, what would you do? Oh, gosh. Gabby, are you a homeowner yet? No. <laughs> oh, so this probably gets you itching to like want to have a place to like completely get your hands on and redo. Right. Definitely. And I love the green color behind you on your bullet board. That's one of my favorites. Yes. That's a good one. It's a Sherwin Williams color. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. And it looks good with those blues, like you said, are popular right yeah, now. The greens and blues are so popular. I think yeah. everybody's just coming off the last few years and want some serene surroundings. And I think blue yeah. just makes you feel calm and comfortable. Exactly. And that's really good. Yeah. All that yeah. color theory behind it, I'm sure you can help walk oh, people yeah. through. And For sure. For sure. Yeah. And there's, so many, there's so many colors out there. And so many different colors are used to make that one color. So it's really nice to be able to have, you know, that professional eye come to mm -hmm. kind of help you look and decide on some paint colors because you could look gorgeous at Home Depot, but then you get it home and all of a sudden that, that pretty tan looks purple. You right. don't know why. So it's helpful to have that eye sometimes to kind of help you not make the wrong decision and then have to turn around and pay to do it all over again. All right. I've had yeah. those phone calls where we've had to go out and help them after they made the wrong decision in the first place. So. Oh, no. Well, I'm yeah. glad that you're right from the beginning. <laughs> Makes you a resource. So absolutely. Yes. So everyone can get in touch with you through your website. Yes. It is www.weaselbedesigns.com. Thanks to Ms. Tracy here. We hope that together. Oh, I was my honor to get to help you. It was wonderful to get that kicked off and you manage it well. So I love Thank that. You're, we get you so know. many compliments on this. Uh, my heart, it's with small businesses and people wanting to, you know, bring their joy out in the world through their work. And so it just really warms my heart to see that it's doing so well and that you're so successful with it. And if I can help bring awareness even more to what you're doing. That's what this is for. That's what I feel is, you know, really helps build a good community as people helping other people. So I'm happy sure. to do that. I agree. Oh, well, thank you for your time today. I and agree. I will have all the links available where I share all of this. And I'm excited to draw the winner's name. All they have to do is subscribe. I don't really, you know, do other than anything else other than send one email a month with my newsletter and just letting everyone know what creative stuff that I'm doing and sharing small businesses like yours. And uh, if you're local, you'll be able to pick it up. If not, you're going to get it shipped to you. That's, that's yeah. also free. So I appreciate all that you've done to get that beautiful package together. That was wonderful. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. And thank you both Gabby and Liesl for thank joining me today. Have a Thank great afternoon. You're welcome. You Bye. Bye.